Li Kaxing. This article is about the founder of Chung Kong Holdings. For the son of Li Shaoqi. See Martin Li Kaxing. In this Chinese name, the family name is Li. Sir Li Kaxing GBM KBE JP, Chinese, born June 13, 1928, is a Hong Kong billionaire business magnate, investor, and philanthropist. He is the senior advisor for CK Hutchison Holdings and CK Asset Holdings after he retired from the chairman of the board in May 2018. Through it, he is a port investor, developer, and operator of the largest health and beauty retailer in Asia and Europe. As of July 2023, Li is the 33rd richest person in the world, with an estimated net wealth of 37.7 billion US dollars. Li invests in a wide array of industries, including transportation, real estate, financial services, retail, and energy in utilities. His conglomerate company Chung Kong Holdings invests in many sectors of the Hong Kong economy and made up 4% of the aggregate market capitalization of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Forbes Magazine and the Forbes Family honored Li Kaxing with the first ever Malcolm S. Forbes Lifetime Achievement Award on September 5, 2006, in Singapore. Dot in spite of his wealth, Li has cultivated a reputation for leading a frugal no-frills lifestyle, and is known to wear simple black dress shoes and an inexpensive Seiko wristwatch. He lived in the same house for decades, in what has now become one of the most expensive districts in Hong Kong, Deep Water Bay in Hong Kong Island. Li is also a philanthropist, donating billions of dollars to charity and other various philanthropic causes. And owning the second largest private foundation in the world after Bill and Melinda Gates. Foundation. In 2019 Forbes put Lee in the list of most generous philanthropists outside of the U.S. Early Life. Lee was born in Chowan, Chaozhou in Guangdong province in 1928 to Tia Chu parents named Li Yunqing, 1898 to 1943, and Chun Bikchin, 1893 to 1984. Li and his family fled to Hong Kong in 1940 as refugees from the Sino-Japanese War. Owing to his father's death from tuberculosis, he was forced to leave school at the age of 15 and found a job in a plastics trading company where he worked 16 hours a day. In 1950 he started his own company, Chung Kong Industries. From manufacturing plastics, Lee developed his company into a leading real estate investment company in Hong Kong that was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 1972. Chung Kong expanded by acquiring Hutchison Wampoa and Hong Kong Electric Holdings Limited in 1979 and 1985 respectively. Business Career Plastics Manufacturing In 1950, after learning how to operate a plant, Lee founded a plastic manufacturing company in Hong Kong with personal savings and funds borrowed from relatives. Lee avidly read trade publications and business news before deciding to supply the world with high-quality plastic flowers at low prices. Lee learned the technique of mixing color with plastics that resemble real flowers. After retooling his shop, he prepared the plant for a visit from a large foreign buyer. Fortunately for Lee, the buyer placed a large order and a few years later, Lee grew to be the largest supplier of plastic flowers in Asia and made a fortune selling them. Real Estate In 1958, believing rents would continue to rise, Lee decided to purchase a site and develop his own factory building. An opportunity to acquire more land arrived after the 1967 riots when many people fled Hong Kong, and, as a result, property prices plummeted. Lee believed the political crisis would be temporary and property prices would eventually rise, and bought land from the fleeing residents at low prices. In 1971, Lee officially named his real estate development. Company Chung Kong Chung Kong Holdings was publicly listed in Hong Kong. Stock Exchange in 1972 during board meetings, Lee stated on a number of occasions his goal of surpassing the Jardines owned Hong Kong land as a leading developer. 
The successful bid by Chung Kong for development sites above the Central and Admiralty MTR stations in 1977 was the key to challenging Hong Kong land as the premier property developer in Hong Kong. Despite its size, Jardines decided in the 1980s to protect itself from hostile takeover by Li or other outside investors. The company implemented a cross-shareholding structure that was designed to place control in the hands of Britain's Keswick family despite their less than 10% holdings in the group. In 1984, the company also moved its legal domicile from Hong Kong to another British overseas territory, Bermuda, in anticipation of the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong to People's Republic of China in 1997. In an effort to drive forward divestitures of assets in Hong Kong and the Chinese mainland, Li agreed to sell the center, the fifth tallest skyscraper in Hong Kong. With a value of 40 Hong Kong dollars and 20 cents billion, 5.15 billion US dollars, the deal constitutes the biggest ever office space real estate sale in the Asia Pacific region. Li sold the Century Link complex in Shanghai for 2.95 billion US dollars the second largest transaction for a single building, according to the Financial Times. In 1979, Li purchased a major stake in Hutchison Wampoa Company Limited from Hong Kong Bank through Chung Kong. Retail A subsidiary of C.K. Hutchison, the A.S. Watson Group, A.S.W., is a retail operator with over 15,000 stores. Its portfolio encompasses retail brands in Europe such as Superdrug, UK, Marionaud, France, Croidvat, Benelux countries, and in Asia including health and beauty retailer Watson Store and wine sellers at all, PRK and SHOP supermarkets, and spin-off brands, and Fortress Electrical Appliance Stores. ASW also produces and distributes water products and beverages in the region. Asset Trading C.K. Hutchison builds up new businesses and sells them off when shareholder value could be created. Profits were obtained in the sale of its interest in Orange to Monismon Group in 1999, making a profit of $15.12 billion. In 2006 Lee sold 20% of Hutchison's ports business to Singapore rival PSA Corporation, making a $3.12 billion profit on a $4 billion deal. Group subsidiary Hutchison Telecommunications sold a controlling stake of 67% in Hutchison ESA, a joint venture mobile operator in India, to Vodafone for $11.1 billion. Internet and Technology Lee has also made a foray into the technology business, where his investment and venture capital firm Horizons Ventures is specifically allocated towards backing new internet and technology startup firms, and bought a stake in Double Twist. His other firm, the Lee Ka Shing Foundation, bought a 0.8% stake in social networking website Facebook for $120 million in two separate rounds and invested an estimated $50 million in the music streaming service Spotify. Sometime between late 2009 and early 2010, Li Kaohsiung led a $15.5 million Series B round of financing for Siri Incorporated. In 2011, Horizons Ventures invested in Sumly, a website summarizing app. Notably, the investment made Nick Deloisio, Sumly's founder, the world's youngest person to receive a venture capital investment at just 15 years old. In 2012, Horizons Ventures invested $2.3 million in Wibbits, a company that provides a text-to-video technology that can automatically convert any article post or feed on the web into a video in a matter of seconds. In August 2012, Lee acquired a stake in Ginger Software Incorporated. In 2013, Horizons Ventures invested in Bitcoin payment company BitPay. In February 2015, Horizons Ventures participated in a $30 million Series C funding round in Zoom Video Communications. Later in the year, Lee participated in a $108 million Series D round in Impossible Foods. In 2016, he continued investments in technology companies and Horizons Ventures led a $55 million Series A round in Blockstream, the leader in blockchain-related. Technologies and also invested in a startup incubator fund expo that works with the founders to build new companies.
In September 2017, Lee worked with Alibaba's Jack Ma to bring Alipay HK, a digital wallet service to Hong Kong. Water Through CK Infrastructure Holdings Limited, Lee owns 75% of British water supplier Northumbrian Water, the remaining 25% being held by US private equity firm KKR. Despite making losses of pound 22 million between March 2022 and July 2023, CK Group and KKR between them took 159 pounds million in dividends from the organization which in the same period paid its chief executive, Heidi Matram, 1.24 million dollars. In 2022 the business was fined £240,000 for discharging untreated sewage into a watercourse in northeast England over a period of two days. Australian Tax Dispute In 2013 a claim was lodged by the Australian Tax Office ATO, against Chung Kong Infrastructure CKI, to pay approximately US$370 million Australian dollars in unpaid tax, penalties and interest relating to tax disputes concerning SA Power Networks and Victoria Power Networks. The dispute was resolved in 2015 when CKI entered into an agreement with the ATO. No penalty was levied against CKI and a sum of approximately 24 million Australian dollars was refunded from the 64 million Australian dollars previously paid to the ATO by CKI. Retirement almost 70 year long reign over ck hutchison holdings and ck asset holdings lee announced his retirement on march 16 2018 in the decision to pass his 100 billion dollar empire on to his son victor lee he is still involved in the conglomerate as a senior advisor others besides business through his flagship companies ck asset holdings and ck hutchison holdings limited Li ka has also personally invested extensively in real estate in Singapore and Canada. He was the single largest shareholder of Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, CIBC, the fifth largest bank in Canada, until the sale of his share in 2005, with all proceedings donated, see below. He is also the majority shareholder of a major energy company, Husky Energy, based in Alberta, Canada. Husky was acquired by Cenevis in 2021, and Lee owns 27.2% of the newly merged company. In January 2005, Lee announced plans to sell his $1.2 billion CAD stake in the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce, with all proceeds going to private charitable foundations established by Lee, including the Lee Ka Shing Foundation in Hong Kong and the Lee Ka Shing, Canada, foundation based in Toronto, Ontario. Lee was the non-executive director of the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation since 1980 and became deputy chairman of the bank in 1985. He was also deputy chairman of HSBC Holdings in 1991-1992. According to Bloomberg, he had a net worth of US$35.3 billion US dollars in July 2021. Personal Life His two sons, Victor Lee and Richard Lee, are also figures in the Hong Kong business scene. Victor Lee succeeded his father as chairman of CK Hutchison Holdings and chairman of CK Asset Holdings Limited, while Richard Lee is chairman of PCCW, the largest telecom company in Hong Kong. They are both Canadian citizens. He is a follower of Buddhism. Married to his first cousin, Chong Yut Ming, 1933-1990, they had a long period of marriage that lasted for 27 to 28 years from 1962 until her sudden death on New Year's Day 1990 due to a suspected drug overdose, other sources rumored it as cardiac arrest. She was the daughter of his maternal uncle, mother's younger brother, Chung Jinan, 1908 to 1996, and his wife, Hugh Bikin, 1911 to 2002, who were also from the Chaos Han region, but were both settled in British. Hong Kong long before he migrated to the city, as she was born and bred there to emigrant Tiachu parents from that region in Guangdong. Lee is plainly dressed for a Hong Kong tycoon. In the 1990s he wore a 50 Hong Kong dollars timepiece from Citizen Watch and Plain Ties. He later wore a Seiko. In 2016, 
he wore a 500 Hong Kong dollar citizen watch. His son Victor Lee was kidnapped in 1996 on his way home after work by gangster Chung Zukum, aka Big Spender. Lee Kaohsiung paid a ransom of 1 billion Hong Kong dollars directly to Chung, who had come to his house. A report was never filed with Hong Kong police. Instead the case was pursued by mainland authorities, leading to Chung's execution in 1998, an outcome not possible under Hong Kong law. Rumors circulated of a deal between Lee and the mainland. Awards and Honors Grand Bauhinia Medal Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire, 5 Commander, Legion d'Honneur Honorary Doctor of Laws, University of Hong Kong, 56 Politics For many years, he was considered to be a pro-Beijing figure. However, in recent years, tensions have been growing between Li and the mainland, especially with the rise of current China's paramount leader Xi Jinping. During the 2019-20 Hong Kong protests, he refused to outright condemn the protesters, instead urging for peace and calling on the authorities to respond to the protesters humanely. On August 4, 2011 at the interim results announcement for Hutchison Wampoa, Li endorsed Henry Tang for the forthcoming chief executive election. Then Li said, you all can be just like me, one person one vote. The media then looked at Li in disbelief, and pointed out that regular citizens do not get one person one vote. Li then tried to laugh it off and said, maybe in 2017 they will have one person one vote to choose the chief executive, I probably just said it a little early. However, Li was criticized by Chinese official state-run press agency Xinhua for being ambiguous in his opposition to the Umbrella Movement protests and his support for Li Young. Dot later, prior to the LegCo vote, Li said that the largest threat to Hong Kong's future was if the government failed to ensure passage of the 2014-15 round of political reform. 64. Li's business empire has presence around the world, including China. Li came under attack from Global Times in early 2015, when his companies put out word that it was considering selling prime Shanghai and Beijing properties. It became apparent that Li aimed at reweighting his asset portfolio to more stable and transparent markets in the West. Concerted attacks ensued and went into a crescendo as China's economy slowed down dramatically in the second half of the year, and the central government sought a way to stem the capital outflows. Specific reproaches were that his asset disposals were an act of ingratitude and immoral at such a sensitive juncture. Security Times, a People's Daily publication, estimated that Li has sold at least 73.8 billion yuan worth of assets since 2014. Li's holding companies denied divesting in China, saying that its asset disposals were being undertaken in the ordinary course of business. The attacks stopped abruptly several weeks later, when editorials and official publications such as People's Daily, Beijing Youth Daily took a neutral stance in unison. Charities The Li Ka-shing Foundation was established in 1980 with a focus on education, medical services and research initiatives. To date, Li Ka-shing has invested over 30 billion Hong Kong dollars in projects covering education, medical services, charity and anti-poverty programs, with about 80% of the projects in mainland China and Hong Kong. Li's donation in 1981 resulted in the founding of Shantou University, STU, and the Shantou University Medical College, near his hometown of Chaozhou. Li has earmarked grants and contributions of over 12 billion Hong Kong dollars to develop STU. In 2013, Li granted 130 million US dollars to establish the Guangdong Technion, Israel Institute of Technology in Guangdong Province as a joint venture between Technion, Israel Institute of Technology and Shantou University. In September 2001, the newest tower in the Hong Kong Polytechnic University was named after Li, following a 100 million Hong Kong dollars donation to the university. The Li Ka-shing Center in Cambridge, England, houses a Cancer Research UK facility, which is a part of the University of Cambridge. 
The center was named after Mr. Lee following a £5.3 million donation, and was opened in his presence in May 2002. The Lee Ka Shing Foundation endowed a professorship of oncology at the university in 2007 with a subsequent gift of £2 million. In November 2002, the Chung Kong Graduate School of Business in China was founded with a large donation from the Li Ka Shing Foundation. The Li Ka Shing Library at the Singapore Management University is also named in his honor after a 11.5 million US dollar donation in 2002 to the Higher Education Institution. After the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake disaster, Li reportedly pledged a total of 3 million US dollars. In 2005, Lee announced a 1 billion Hong Kong dollars, 128 million US dollars, donation to the Faculty of Medicine, University of Hong Kong. It was renamed to Lee Ka Shing Faculty of Medicine on January 1, 2006, which provoked controversy between the university and quite a number of alumni of the faculty, notably Kwok Ka Ki, over the university's naming procedures. Also in 2005, Lee donated 40 million US dollars to the University of California, Berkeley, citing that he was impressed with the university's accomplishments in the biosciences. In recognition of Lee's donation, the university has named the campus new biosciences facility the Lee Ka Shing Center for Biomedical and Health Sciences, which opened in October 2011. In 2014, the Lee Ka Shing Foundation provided a 10 million US dollar gift to support UC Berkeley and UC San Francisco to jointly launch the Innovative Genomics Initiative, IGI, based on a new technology discovered at UC Berkeley by Professor Jennifer A. Doudna, Executive Director of the initiative. In the same year, the Lee Ka Shing Foundation has also provided $3 million to Stanford University for exploring new ways of utilizing biomedical data to improve human health. A longtime supporter of Stanford University since the 1980s, Lee is the principal benefactor to the $90 million US dollar Lee Ka Shing Center for Learning and Knowledge, which opened in fall 2010 and is now the headquarters for the Stanford University School of Medicine. On March 9, 2007, Li Ka Shing contributed SGD dollar 100 million to the Li Kuan Yu School of Public Policy in the National University of Singapore. Also, to honor and recognize Dr. Li's support and generosity, LKYSPP will name one of its three buildings at the historic Bukit Taima campus after him. Li Ka Shing donated 25 million Canadian dollars to St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto to found the Li Ka Shing Knowledge Institute which will serve as a medical research and education center in downtown Toronto. Lee Ka Shing donated 28 million Canadian dollars to the University of Alberta to found the Lee Ka Shing Institute of Virology. Lee Ka Shing donated 160 million Hong Kong dollars, 20.6 million US dollars, to aid relief efforts in the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. Li Ka Shing donated 6.6 .6 million Canadian dollars to McGill University in 2013 to establish three exchange programs, the Li Ka Shing Initiative for Innovation in Legal Education, the Li Ka Shing Liberal Arts Exchange Initiative and the Li Ka Shing Program in International Business between McGill and Shantou University. In 2013, Li Ka Shing donated 2 million US dollars to the University of California, San Francisco to support their Advanced Precision Medicine Initiative. The funds will be used to build a worldwide network of clinicians and researchers, launch leadership exchanges between UCSF and China, and create a systems pharmacology program to develop more precise medications. With a donation from Li of over 3 billion Hong Kong dollars, TSC Shan Monastery was developed over a period of 10 years as an institute of Chinese Buddhist practice and education as well as a place for spiritual contemplation. It was opened to the public in April 2015. Hong Kong, April 28, 2015, in the aftermath of the devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake that struck Nepal and its neighboring regions, the foundation has made a donation of 1 million US dollars from its just-in-time fund to provide immediate aid to help ease human suffering and to support ongoing relief efforts in Nepal. 
In 2017 the Kaohsiung Foundation donated 3 million US dollars, 3.75 million Australian dollars, to the University of Melbourne Centre for Cancer Research, UMCCR, Australia, for precision oncology. The goal of this donation is to help accelerate the PESO discovery and increase the knowledge used to diagnose and treat cancer. In 2017, with the support of a £20 million gift from the Li Ka Xing Foundation, Oxford University launched the Big Data Institute. The center gathers researchers to analyze worldwide biomedical data and catalyze the development of new treatments for cancer, Alzheimer's and several infectious diseases. In 2018 Li Ka Xing donated 10 million Hong Kong dollars to Food Angel, a program that provides hot meals for people in need. In 2018 Li Ka Xing Foundation and CK Hutchison Holdings donated 5 million US dollars for Paludangala disaster relief after tsunami and earthquake in Indonesia. The foundation funded the world's first circumnavigation of the Antarctic by a robot from January to August 2019. The 23-foot autonomous sailing drone carried instruments of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration in an effort to enhance climate data collection so as to improve understanding of the Antarctic carbon cycle and as a test for a rollout of up to 1,000 craft worldwide.